of the band was on stage because they wanted to be rock stars. This lot on stage because they had no fucking choice. I think they thought we were yobs, which we were. We would rehearse and rehearse and rehearse so that when we did get a gig, we would show the bastards the beauty of Joy Vision. That we did it, four of us didn't know what we were doing, didn't know why we were doing it, and the chemistry was unbelievable. None of them realized how strong and powerful the music was. I didn't want it to sound melancholy, I wanted it to lock people's heads off. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's just like a love story. Each individual is nothing on their own, and when they click together, it's enormous. And she said, don't you understand, Tony? When he says, I take the blame, he means it. And I went, no, 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 it's just art. How fucking stupid can you get? <laughs> what they managed to do had integrity, something that didn't seem to be just for the money, for the career. Joy Division in particular, Factory in general, Ian's story is one of the last true stories in pop. 